Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka from the Hawaii Restaurant Association. I am the executive director. Today we'll be hearing from American Savings Bank who relaunched the Hawaii Restaurant Card Business Holiday Card. We're calling it the 2021 Hawaii Restaurant Card. And from Kapahale, a restaurant will share why this restaurant card is so important to the restaurant industry. First of all, I'd like to introduce our executive direct, our executive assistant, Siobhan Garcia. Hi, thank you, Cheryl. Yes, I wanted to introduce today, um, just as you said, we have American Savings and Kapahale. I wanna introduce John Ward, who is the executive vice president and Chief Marketing and Product Officer for American Savings Bank. And I would also like to introduce, um, well, actually he's not on right now because I think he's busy doing his business and he's chefing it up, but chef and owner of Kapahale, Chef Keaka Lee, and his beautiful wife, who is also the co-owner of Kapahale, Heather Smithley. Welcome. So in in 2020, the state of Hawaii launched the Hawaii Restaurant Card Program, which infused more than $75 million into the local restaurant industry. Today, thousands of restaurants still remain in survival mode and really need our community support once again as they struggle with reduced foot traffic, supply chain issues, and employee shortages. So to help provide immediate financial assistance to our restaurant and food service industry, American Savings Bank is relaunching the 2021 Hawaii Restaurant Card Business Holiday Card Program as a way to give back and support local eateries during the holidays. These cards are available to purchase by businesses and entities such as organizations to use as holiday gifts appreciation gifts to their clients and just incentive programs. This is a terrific opportunity for businesses to please step up and support local restaurants and our whole food service industry while rewarding their employees and thanking their clients this holiday season. So John, the first question is to you, you know, restaurants and the whole food service industry is so grateful to American Savings Bank for agreeing to relaunch the Hawaii restaurant card. So the big question is, John, why? Why did American Savings Bank agree to do this? Thanks, Cheryl. Well, my, my first answer is because you begged me. <laughs> uh, we had a we had a great time uh, last year working together and working with the state uh, when we were all thrown into this uh, with initially a, a a really good idea, but no uh, no ideas on how to really execute it. And so we partnered um, with our our partner Pfizer, uh, who uh, does a similar program for the federal government and for other states with a prepaid debit uh, card platform. And they put it uh, together very fast. Um, uh, there were a lot of, uh, you know, bumps in the road as we did it last year because it was uh, so quick. Um, but we really felt good about, you know, the the, the seventy five million dollars going directly into um, not just the restaurants but the entire food chain um, and and the community because things were so bad. But as you've pointed out multiple times, things are still bad, and particularly for small businesses and particularly for for for, for restaurants. And so we wanted to jump back in and do it again. This time though, um, American Savings Bank uh, brought um, our teammates uh, to the table uh, to kind of redo the ordering process, uh, to take the orders, make it easier for um, businesses and entities to um, purchase the cards, to order them. Um, they're, on, they're on ASBHawaii.com right now with an order form and FAQs and uh, a bunch of things to make this process a little bit easier. Uh, we, we also have changed a few things with the, with the program. Uh, we've made the um, a period of time that the recipients of the cards can use them uh, longer. Uh, so they're good through the end of June in 2022. Uh, so that gives a little bit more time to, you know, have uh, folks use the whole amount that's on the card. Um, and we also have three ordering windows. The first window um, has already closed, but that's okay. We have two more um, where we uh, sent the order over to Fiserv. 
um, they're processing right now. So the first order was 130 uh, individual orders from companies, over 9,000 cards, and over half a million dollars in, in funding. We're, we're hoping to, uh, to blow past that number, of course, um, with this week um, and next week. The next ordering window will go over to um, our partner, uh, Pfizer, on Friday of this week. Uh, so we really want people to order now and um, they, they'll they get the cards in time for the holidays and all that kind of stuff. If folks miss that second window, uh, we are accepting orders through um, December 10th, and that'll be the third and final time for the orders. Um, they'll likely get the cards by the end of the year um, anyway, um, but like I said, the, order, the, the, the use period is much longer through the end of June, so that shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be an issue, but we're off to a great start. And it's really uh, great to work with you and work with uh, others. And uh, we're, we're really trying to do our part to help the, um, the, the restaurant community. One last thing I would say is there's a whole team of uh, people out here at American Savings Bank who are checking the orders and making sure it goes through, wiring the money. Um, uh, they've, they've just done a terrific job um, getting this together. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so proud of them and happy to be part of this again. Thank you so much, John. And you know, everyone is asking me because as you know, there was the first Hawaii restaurant card, which was the CARES Fund. This is a very different card. This is being purchased by businesses, by entities, by organizations. So this card, John, we wanna clarify this, can be used in restaurants. It can be used in bakeries, coffee shops, even bars and taverns. And because it's a pure debit card, people can also purchase cocktails, correct? Um, absolutely. <laughs> and, <laughs> and wine and beer and whatever they want. Uh, so yeah, so that was one of the things we found last year, and this is a learning process for me. I'm a, I'm a frequent uh, uh, visitor of Hawaii restaurants, um, but I don't know, the, I don't know the, the, uh, the, the business that well on the, on the, um, the owner's side. Um, but what we found is that the the codes, the merchant codes that are used to kind of classify um, food versus alcohol versus um, purchases um, are are a little bit different uh, depending on how the merchant sets up their 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 payment uh, kind of processing system. So so we expanded it. So it includes, as you mentioned, restaurants, bars, taverns, um, pretty much any local. Uh, food uh, business um, will go through, um, and that's that's an improvement o over last year because it was federal. It was um, partially and and mostly federal CARES money last year. We really wanted to limit it so that uh, it wasn't all going to uh, uh, to, to drinks. Um, but this year it's fine. It's the holidays, and uh, we you know things things are a little crazy, but we have a lot to be thankful for, and want to be sure that people are able to to use it and and enjoy it at a at a broader um, you know, group of, of, of restaurants and, and bars and taverns. And you have to know a lot of the bars that are our members were so happy when I told them that I said they can even put you know, the tip on it. It's a pure debit card. So, so Heather, you know, Hawaii Restaurant Association sent out a survey and we polled restaurants during the Delta variant, which was September and October. And the survey was taken um, during October because we knew that we're, we're still in a very difficult situation. And the results from the survey was even worse than we expected, even though I am an, also an investor in restaurants. In September and October, 80% of the restaurants surveyed said they saw their revenue drop by 30% or more. And they did see that they expected um, to lose more if we didn't get out of all of the restrictions. And the main reason was foot traffic, you know, because we had less tourists here and we saw the visitor arrivals dropping by 27%. So Heather, the question to you is, how important is this Hawaii restaurant card to our restaurant industry? And you speaking as a restaurant tour, you know, how important is this impact to restaurants? Thank you, Cheryl. Um, it's very important and it's a, a great opportunity for um, restaurants, employers, companies to 
do a small way in supporting the restaurant industry in terms of providing to their clients, their employees, some a small gift, and um, you know, in order to go out, have enjoy and have fun. Um, and you know, it's not tied directly to one restaurant. You're supporting the entire Hawaii restaurant industry, which is something that as a community we all appreciate. Um, you know, with the ups and downs and the fragile state of you know everything that we're going through, um, every little bit helps. So this opportunity, um, you know, provides a lot for us. And I think something fun that you can give and something different to give to, um, again, employees, clients, someone that you want to say, we appreciate you. Um, and, you know, have this meal on us, have a drink on us. Um, and, you know, whether it's at Papa Hale or any restaurant, you're supporting local. And um, we, we really are glad to be part of this opportunity. Oh, thank you so much, Heather. And you're right. You know, the stories that I get back, both John and Heather is, you know, businesses are purchasing it just because during the holidays, they bring in, you know, lunch for their employees and they can order it delivered through a delivery service and they can put it on their restaurant card because they're going to have to do a, a Christmas lunch or a New Year's Um you know, maybe breakfast with donuts and food. So they're using it in different ways. They're using it as incentives um, for like perfect attendance. I've heard some businesses say that even sales incentives or target incentives, they're using the restaurant card for that. So they're ordering it. And as John had mentioned, the cards are good to June 30th, 2022. So you've got a whole, you know, six months to use the cards. Someone's birthday is coming up a graduation in you know December it is a perfect time so thank you for saying that Heather you know more so Heather you know our our whole food service industry as you know many of our members are not only restaurants but it's the suppliers it's the distributors it's the manufacturers that if restaurants do well right we can support all of the farmers the cattlemen so maybe you can go through some of the other business partners that Kapahale has that now when, you know, businesses start picking up, business picks up for Kapahale, now you can bring, you know, bring back some of your employees and bring back some of the partners that you have to support the restaurant. Yes, um, we, we always try our best to um, connect locally with our farmers and purveyors and fisheries. Um, so the more that um, business we get, the more that we can buy from them, try new things, look for new products, and, um, you know, being able to staff and offer more, um, for the more positions out there for employees, our current ones, we're always looking for new ones, um, but the more that we're able to kind of funnel back into the economy, I think it benefits everybody. I, it, we can have an endless list, um, and I know with the uncertainties coming up, Takeout is always an option with most, you know, restaurants, dining, bakeries. So, you know, this can be used in many different ways. So however you're comfortable, we, we support all of that. Thank you so much, Heather. So Siobhan, do you have any questions for John or Heather? Yeah, my question would be for John. I know um, we mentioned that there is they can use them all the way up until June thirtieth of twenty twenty two. Is there a cutoff time that they can use them? The um, the, the plan is at midnight on the on the thirtieth. Um, we certainly want everyone to use it before then. Uh, <laughs> so um, you know, you, you uh, use it before uh, that would be great. But um, that's the that's the plan and. If I could just add some of the ideas around and some creative uh, ways of using the cards. Um, we, we've had a number of orders come through uh, where uh, entities and companies have ordered the cards and they're donating them to local charities for distribution. And I think that's a, a, a really terrific way to, you know, give back and help the restaurant community, but um, help others, in, you know, in, in need too. So that's a terrific idea for anybody who, who wants to uh, wants to do it. And the, and the last thing is because, as um, Cheryl had mentioned, because they're good for, um, you know, six months, it doesn't have to be necessarily distributed around um, the end of the year holidays. 
but rather it could be a first quarter or or even later um, gift incentive um, thank you um, uh, uh, opportunity uh, for for next year too. So it's a it's a good way to get something ready and 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 help our our community into uh, well into next year. Thank you. Those are great ideas, and of course, you know, I, um, of course, we're going to encourage them to go to Kapahale and. You know, I, Heather, I don't know if you can talk a little bit about, um, you know, we saw this card last year and, you know, you guys were just opening. If you can give a little bit of background on your restaurant and maybe how you, um, if you were able to see the impact last year, even at the beginning of your business. Yeah, so we did open um, kind of right when it was closing at the end of the uh, first round with the CARES app for the restaurant card. but. We had employees using them, and we did have diners come in, ask questions if we if we were accepting them. Um, so we're in the Kahala neighborhood, and we do um, you know local Hawaii regional cuisine. So we are um, a full service restaurant for dine in and take out. Um, and as we were new to the neighborhood, we were uh, you know we kind of uh, hit the ground running. So we had to learn all of the things that were in place, all of the things that we needed to accept or kind of figure out. So uh, with the restaurant card, uh, I, I remember employees, especially who were coming from other restaurants or coming from unemployment, and they were able to um, talk to us about the restaurant card and what they were using it for. Um, so we actually learned a lot through our staff that came on board with us about the card. Um, and it, it really helped them and it was impactful for them to be able to go out and enjoy and dine out. Um, so uh, as we joined the restaurant industry team, um, the restaurant card was a great way to kind of learn how the CARES Act was giving back and being able to use that for our community. It's great to hear, you know, I mean, a, a local neighborhood eatery is something that um, is so precious to a lot of communities. So we're really glad to hear that it helped you guys and you were able to see the impact. Um, and, you know, I know you mentioned you're an ASB customer as well. And I, and I'd heard that there was emails that went out to all of the, um, to all of the customers that are businesses through ASB and we're so grateful, you know, John, have you seen a, a big outreach from a lot of your um, business partners from ASB? Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, so that that's one of our our, our um, the largest um, uh, order populations, if you will, of the of the 130 um, orders so far, um, are our, our customers and uh, vendors, uh, business partners, um, and uh, and it's just great that we can uh, work with them to help uh, support the the restaurant community. It's really been overwhelming uh, the the support that that we're getting and. Um, excited for this next round of orders and to be able to report back on uh, how, how, how big that number gets. Um, uh, and, yeah, and apologize to anyone if we've been harassing you. It, <laughs> it's, uh, it's all going to a good cause and we don't mean to be harassing, but uh, we're all very, uh, very excited uh, about, this, about this program. Thank you. I know, I know we are too. And I know um, the whole community is excited about this program. It, it lets a lot of people make their own decisions where they would like to eat and it gives love to everybody, which we want to see. So thank you again. Cheryl, back to you. Thank you, Siobhan. You know, American Savings Bank made it so simple for restaurants and we sent it out to our mass distribution. And John, you, you all made a poster that says, you know, the Hawaii restaurant card accepted here and the restaurants are waiting for that December 10th date when they, they feel that the cards are gonna land on our shores. Is that correct around December 10th? Yeah, it, it might be sooner in terms of when the first uh, group of orders actually get their cards. Now, when they distribute it is not up to us. Uh, I think some are going to hold out, you know, to be closer to the holidays a little bit. So wouldn't I, I wouldn't um, think that, that you're going to see a big push on the 10th, more towards the um, more the end of the month and then into next year's where, you know, we'll really see kind of the usage. Last year, we saw a lot of usage around the holidays, right? Um, um, and that was that was exciting to see. Of course, last year was a, a little bit uh, 
a different time, a, a lot of a lot more restrictions and, and that sort of thing. But um, uh, as Heather mentioned, the um, uh, takeout um, and delivery options are, are really good. Those mostly go through. I did want to just kind of highlight we, we tested um, a bunch of um, delivery services and most of them uh, get accepted on, on the card. There are a few that get bounced back to the mainland and then don't look like a, a Hawaii restaurant, but uh, mostly takeout and delivery um, uh, are, are covered. So I, I would expect to see the cards pop up um, right before kind of Christmas, New Year's, and then, and then you know, uh, well into um, the first quarter of next year where the, where the spend will happen. Well, you have to know, I get calls immediately when a card shows up in an, a restaurant. You know, they're so excited when they see the card walk in the door and they call me and they say, hey, I got a Hawaii restaurant card today. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for letting me know. So the posters that American Savings has provided us has been e-blasted out. It's just the restaurants printed up. You can laminate it if you want to. You don't have to. You tape it in your front door and you let people know that you're accepting the Hawaii restaurant card. So as people are walking by, they're like, hey, you know, I see a poster on Kapahali. I'm going to go use my restaurant card over there because they're accepting it. And that was the whole marketing that we're doing, John, to encourage people to put more advertising out there. You know, some of the restaurants, I asked them to put it up early to just keep it in people's mind that, hey, yeah, that might be a great Christmas gifts. So some of the restaurants are going to be putting it up early. So John, you know, we've got like another seven minutes or so. Is there anything else that I missed that we need to get the message out to our restaurateurs? As you know, we have people live watching and then we'll be sending out this link. Is there anything else that ASB would like to say about the restaurant card? I, I, I think just, you know, be patient. Um, because depending on the, um, the the denomination of the card, there are three uh, denominations this year to make it a little bit easier. We had unlimited last year, which in theory sounded like a good idea, but it was a lot of headache. So um, there are $25 cards, $50 cards, and $100 cards. Um, the, the one you know thing I'd want uh, restaurant folks to um, to know is that if if the um, you know, if someone has $15 on the card, but their bill is $40, um, it will initially decline. So we just need to, you know, think about you know, how much is on the card, have uh, customers know how much is there, make sure that they're using it up, and then they can pay the difference in um, another credit card or, you know, debit card or however they, they want to do it. But that, that's kind of the only thing we really, you know, I, I think this will go very smoothly, I think, because they're higher value cards. The average uh, purchase last year was around $37. Um, now, there was a wide, I'm a math person, there's a wide range uh, in, in terms of, you know, uh, on, the, on the higher end and the lower end. Um, but most of the cards are $50 and $100 cards this year. So I think um, some of the challenges we had with, you know, using that last little bit on the card may be actually a lot easier this year. But that's the one thing is just to, you know, uh, smile when somebody gives uh, gives you the Hawaii restaurant card. Think of American Savings Bank and Cheryl. Everything that we've done over the last you know year plus uh, to make this program uh, work, and um, that that that's the main thing. I also do want to uh, thank uh, Gwen um, Yamamoto Lao um, and Chair Luke and and Governor Ige um, for their tireless leadership on this last year, which allowed us to do this. This, this was not uh, um, uh, our idea at American Savings Bank. We were kind of pulled in and uh, they were the ones that really drove this last year, Gwen in particular, and we're just carrying the torch on, on their behalf. And you're so right. If it wasn't for Governor Ige, Chair Sylvia Luke and Gwen Yamamoto Lau, this program would have not been what it is today. And so when I called John a few months ago, you know, begging him to please, can we do, you know, our, our another restaurant card? I know he was like, okay, if I don't say yes, she's going to cry. So I better say yes. So we're so grateful, John. We're so grateful. So anyone who would like to order a Hawaii restaurant card, it's 
asbhawaii.com forward slash HRC. Go to the website and order the restaurant card. Now, before we close off, I also want to give Heather an opportunity to please say a few words about the restaurant card, about Kapahale, anything that you want to say in closing. Hi, just a big thank you for allowing us to talk story about, um, you know, the things that are leading up in the community and the opportunities for people to help. Um, I think as we, you know, are definitely knee deep in the holiday season, um, similar to John, we appreciate patience and um, just know that we're all working very hard for you. We want to feed you. We want you to enjoy and, um, you know, feel that holiday spirit. So we're all um, just working hard and together to, um, you know, provide for the community and, um, <laughs> um, you know, you can always check out our website for our restaurant. We have our menus up to date there. Have some holiday fun things coming down the line for Kapahale. So check us out. We are a neighborhood restaurant in Kahala, in the Kahala community. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Daryl. Thank you so much, Heather, to jump for jumping on. Siobhan, anything before I close? The only thing I think we left out was um, if anybody is watching and they're a restaurateur, and I would encourage Heather as well, we do have social media graphics as well. I know how many people follow Kapahale and other places. So, you know, if you're looking for those, we have those and we can get those to you. It's just another way to get the word out. Very good. Thank you, Siobhan, for putting that out there. So everyone, again, asbhawaii.com forward slash HRC, which stands for the Hawaii Restaurant Card. The Hawaii Food Service Industry is so grateful to American Savings Bank. Thank you so much for, for agreeing to do the Hawaii Restaurant Card again. And again, I'm Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is the voice of Hawaii's food service industry. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you again soon. Mahalo. Thank you.